Hi, I'm Rich from AskPatty.com, and what I'd like to show you right now is some basic tools that I found very, very beneficial when I'm cleaning. We're going to start out with some safety things first. One, I, I mentioned before, always read the uh, directions on the bottle, and if it calls for using safety glasses, especially with bathroom cleaners, that's where you really got to watch out. A lot of bathroom cleaners are mild acids and uh, you don't want to get that stuff in your eyes so protect your eyes and safety glasses are a couple bucks gloves again when you're cleaning in the toilet um, I like to wear gloves and when you see me do it later I'm definitely gonna have a pair of these gloves on when I put my hands in there but I'm gonna show you you know gloves are very very beneficial measuring cups I couldn't live without one I love to cook as a hobby and in cleaning a measuring cup is every bit as important you need to measure the chemical and dilute it according to the manufacturer's directions. I want to show you a couple things that I brought today. These are microfiber claws. They're sort of revolutionizing the way the industry is done and I like it because it's very environmentally friendly. Instead of using paper towels and going through rolls of it, these are microfiber claws that you can do for a multitude of things. You can use it to immerse in a cleaning solution and wipe down stuff. You can use it to dust furniture. They just have a thousand and one uses, even cleaning the car in the interior. Big difference between these two, this is a very, uh, it's an air lay, and it's one that's designed to be used about 20 different times. It is launderable, you can wash this. Very, very inexpensive and a very nice absorbent cloth. This one's a little bit more expensive, but this is a microfiber cloth that still is probably a little over three bucks but you can launder this 500 times and you heard me right 500 times and it really will hold up what you're gonna find is that the more you launder it actually the better the cloth gets it's a lint free microfiber wiper and it's good for a multitude of uses this sponge is a magic eraser sponge and you may have seen them in the stores they really really do work in a limited way of taking marks off the walls if uh, you have a scuff mark somewhere, it works very well for that. This is a sponge that the very clever people, and I often, I don't like to mention manufacturers because I don't like to plug anyone in particular, but this sponge is made by 3M. And it's a magic sponge in my opinion because it has the scratchy pad on it, but it'll give you the aggressive scrubbing, but it won't damage the surface. And believe me, I had to see it to believe it. I use this on Teflon pans to wipe them out. They don't hurt the Teflon. It won't mar like a stainless steel sink. It just is great. And the backside is just an absorbent sponge. This is an old trusty tool that I, it belongs to me and I've used it forever. And it's a hand scrub brush. I'm going to give you a little uh, information about scrub brushes or a little hint. A lot of folks tell me that all oh, my scrub brushes don't work. Well, what most people do, they think that you have to put a lot of power and pressure to scrub something off, and the exact opposite is true. If you think about a scrub brush, or any brush for that matter, what does the work is the tips of the bristles. When you take a scrub brush and you put a lot of pressure on it, what ends up happening is you bend the bristles down, and I don't know if you can see that on my hand, but if you think about it, instead of cleaning with the tips, which are the abrasive, aggressive part, you're just actually dragging the bristles over the surface. So I tell folks, when you want to scrub, scrub something, no matter how dirty it is, get the right chemical, first of all, use the brush, and lightly run the bristles over the top. Let the bristles do the work, and you'll find that a brush works much, much better. It's not always the elbow grease that gets the job done. Sometimes we gotta use our heads. The last two items I have here are Lamb's wool dusters, and they're this one's designed to reach and go way overhead. It locks into place. It's lamb's wool. What you can do is take it like this, and it expands, and you can go and dust the hard-to-reach places without getting up on a ladder. The reason I like lamb's wool over acrylic is if ultimately this thing will get dirty. You don't need to throw it away. I've had ladies tell me, hey, Rich, I just go buy another one. If you'll take mild dish detergent with lukewarm water, put it in the sink, put some on your hand, and just wash this lamb's wool and then rinse it real good, let it air dry, you'll bring it back to a, back, a brand new condition, like a like new condition. 
Now you'll find after you wash it and it dries that the lamb's wool itself may be matted down. All you got to do is roll it in your hands and it just pops right out. This is the uh, same product, just basically with no extension handle. So if you want to dust your tables and stuff, this is a great lamb's wool duster. Uh, they're a little more than the acrylic, but they last a lot longer and I find them indispensable tools when I'm cleaning the house. Hope you found this information interesting and, and I hope you found it beneficial. Thanks for watching AskAmPetty.com.